Drums. Welcome fellow drum nerds and music producers, it's Jonathan from Red Pack Drums. On this channel we provide you of videos of unique sounding and looking percussive instruments, from sound examples to musical performances, interviews and music production tutorials. So if you're a drum nerd just like us, please consider subscribing and liking the video so we can get the custom drum word out. We as Red Pack Drums are focused on getting you custom built drums to your desktop. This way you can use expensive and exclusive drum sounds for example your electronic drum kit or for your home productions without having to sell your kidney. So if you guys have any suggestions on custom or expensive drums that you would love to have sampled, please leave it in the comments. We will definitely consider adding these to our roster. So today I wanted to give you another quick tip video. And let me paint you a picture. You are trying to remake a cover song or using MIDI files from other drum sample libraries or whatever. And you you're import these MIDI files into your DAW, but it doesn't sound anywhere near the original or the, the mapping is all screwed up. So that's always a pain, right? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to map this different kind of mapping to, in this case, our sample library. And yes, we are trying to showcase our sample library here. I'm not hiding this under the table. So this video is sponsored by me. And so if you need a new drum sample library, or you need to upgrade your home productions with an easy to use, great sounding, right out of the box a drum sample library. Check out the link in the description below to find a great deal on our uh, DS Drum RCS Essentials. Or if you're watching this in the future, many, many more. So let's jump in the session and see how that's done. So here in a Cubase session, you can see the our drum library, uh, MIDI file and uh, original track. I'm doing another how to recreate a drum tone video. So I downloaded this MIDI file but it was it doesn't sound like the original one so that's uh, really a pain. It sounds like this. So some hits do sound right but other hits like the choke symbol it's not in the original right uh, the original is a little bit different <laughs> okay so there's toms kick in the snare maybe a hi-hat pedal but that's it what we're going to do is open this up in an in a lower window in Cubase. Open up the drum library, go to the MIDI page, and then check out what we got here on the MIDI file. So this is a bass drum. Sounds good. We got some rim shots here. No, we got some ghost notes. Actual snare hits, that sounds all good. But let's start with the toms because you can hear from the get-go the toms are not there. So this, you can see low tom here on the general MIDI is not doing anything. So what you do, essentially, you click on the rack tom. In this case, the second rack tom, I want to program on the A1 MIDI note. And then I just click on the MIDI file. You can see it programs the A1. You can deselect it, or you can just hit it twice, so it will deselect automatically. One, two. I accidentally deleted uh, the MIDI note. No problem. Command Z is your friend. Basically, that's it. For all the uh, notes that are missing, 
and you're thinking, okay, this is this needs to be a high tom, for example. You just click on the high tom and click twice. It it will program automatically the the note. Let's see what we got. The floor tom is great. This is a closed hi hat. Yeah, you can see that it triggers the tip closed. Uh, if you need a for example, the edge, you want a different sound on this hi-hat, click on the on the record MIDI learn uh, button and just hit it twice, click on it, up, and that's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Then you can save it to a, a custom slot, for example, save it there, or you can export the map and give it your own name so in this case at uh, tonight mapping and you can save it whatever the hell you want here in the netherlands we say kind kan de was doen just google translate that let's see how it sounds now Okay, now you can hear that this is not the right note. It doesn't need to be a high tom. So the D1, I'm just gonna take it out here on the drop down menu. So now we're missing the C2. <clears throat> this is the high note, right? So click rack tom one, one, two. And it's there. We don't need this up. So that was a quickie. Keep an eye out for the next recreating a drum tone video, which I'm working on now. Thanks for watching. Hope that helped. Till next time, Jonathan out, Red Pack Drone.